Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. It's a grey rainy Monday here in the UK. Um, so I just thought I'd turn the camera on and um, share with you the next step in preparing my um, sort of kind of do it yourself really quickly day book. Uh, so this is the um, hmm, third video, I think, uh, turning this um, little cover, which we've tied the signatures into. Um, and today I want to finish off decorating the cover and actually just add the embellishments onto the spine. Okay. Um, last time we put the little, um, like a collage together here with the lace. I don't know if you remember, but the actual lace was sort of hanging off the ends. And I decided I didn't like it very much, to be honest. So um, I, since the last video, have stuck the, have glued them down, glued down the edges. And I've also um, glued the tassels on the little butterfly. Because I remember I said I would see how I go and whether or not they got on my nerves moving about. And they did. So, today what I'm going to do first and foremost is, um, with the lighter lace, I just wanted to um, put a little bit of uh, colour, just to take the colour down a little bit. So I've got some of this, it's just Hobbycraft ink, and a little bit of the Tim Holtz Distress ink, so I might just do a mix. And I've been practising, I found this, remember I... I know I've had them somewhere. You actually change the sponges on and then you can um, use it to ink down or distress your projects. So let's start. I thought I had a little practice on this piece of lace to see how the colours worked out. And I really liked the green, sort of just a bit lower down on bordering onto the picture. So we'll see. Just to take the colour down a little bit. That works out quite well, doesn't it? Muslin frame. Yeah, I am. If you can see, what you tend to do is just dab that there. And I thought I'd put a little bit of the blue on just around the edge at the top. Maybe I might, I might even mix the two. So. It's called Broken China, this, which I think is really quite pretty. Yeah, I do prefer that. Sort of ties it in a little bit better, I think, with the with the colours on the picture. So that's the first thing. I don't know what you think, but I really quite like the. It seems a bit tidier. Um, so that's the front finished. And um, I remember we've actually just tied this. I do like the how this looks. But I still wanted to add um, a dangle, and I found this lovely um, vintage necklace last week in the charity shops, which looks beautiful. And if you can see the colours on there like that, with the burgundy and the tealy green, um, and also I found a pair of earrings as well. One of them I've saved because I want to put it in the afternoon tea time journal that I'm doing for the lovely Paulette. I think that's going to be a really pretty piece of the ephemera. But this one I thought could be for me. So what I have done since what I've done, I basically um, I moved the clasp from the end, clipped it off with this and basically we placed it on the middle of the necklace. If I show you how the necklace lies like that. 
So I've replaced it on here so that I can basically, I just want to pop it. I was going to use a bulb pin and I wasn't sure whether to, I'm just going to pop it on there. You can see what I'm doing. Uh -huh. Maybe not, hold on. Let's just pop it on one of these. Will that work? Yeah. You see, you've popped it on there. And then with the ends, all I'm going to do with this pair of cutting pliers is I'm going to snip the ends off. If you can see. Suits me. It's just for... Oh, hold on, that's not happy. Ah, didn't do up, did it? Right. So it's all so yep, yeah, I like that. It's all on the one. So you've got the necklace in the middle there, if you can see, pinned on. And what I've decided to do um with this one, how to attach it is um I've gonna I've put a little hole, let me if you can see. I've popped a little hole in the top here of the spine. I've popped a little hole just there, if you can see it. And I've decided what I've decided to do with this is to attach it to the top using a little bit of the jewelry here and, and a brad. Okay. And I'm gonna pop the brad into I dropped my tweezers and I think pop the brad just into the top there worked a little bit there, there you go so pop the brad into the top there and I'm probably just going to pop a little glue pop a little glue just all around the hole here I think still in frame tiny bit of that fabric tack which I can see why most people use it to be fair because it's ever so useful on all sorts of mediums right let's see how I can do that this is where I need my tweezers really hold on and I've got a lot of time now pop the glue on okay so Let's open that there and just try and pop that through. see it there you can see a shot it's just gone through at the top there and I'm going to secure it on that side on the inside it's flat let's have a look and then I can rearrange that like so let's pop this back and pop that back over there. Let's pop it that way. And so it's kind of just, yeah. I shall try and rearrange that little. That's it. A little bit better like that. Now what I'll probably do, I'll leave the um, these the bottom, the threads loose, but I will probably, with the help of my tweezers would have been better, but I couldn't find them and I had about a 10 minute window to try and get this video just finished off. I mean probably, I might just pop them under here for now. 
just in case. I don't know. I shouldn't need to adjust anything, but just in case I do. They're kind of just secure down at the bottom here. Let that one's come away. To be honest, by the time you see this again, I will secure that more fully down there. I might even add some more little bits on the side here, I think, just to bulk plump it out a little bit, but it'd be easy to secure onto this side side of that ring. So and I've got some dangle done. I will have to that's my dangle done. What I was going to say was just to show you very quickly another way you can do a dangle, um, which is easier than this. Um, I've had to do this because of the way the strings were, is I usually use, um, for instance, um, I can load up, um, cut, um, oh, what's the word, necklaces to size, the size of the spine, and I just normally just pop them onto a, one of these, uh, a teardrop, one of these lovely teardrop uh, paper clips. Um, so they come in different colours, as you probably know, um, but... They're easy then, you can just pop on what you fancy um, onto the paper clip. And if you've got a wider spine like this on my, day, my old day book, it's just easy to find the middle, pop them on. Oh, I did that with the uh, my Autumn Abundance one. That, so this one's got six signatures, so it's easy to find the middle there. And there's nothing else on the back. So that's another way you can secure your dangles. because it's really, really quick. Um, so anyway, so that's that. That's how I've done this one. I will probably add some more to this, guys, before, when you see it the next time. Um, so today we've done, we've finished the cover and attached my dangle. And um, I will be back because I want to um, decorate this inside cover. That's what I'll be doing next, okay? Um, and then we'll start. I really need to start because it's really uh, actually popping my numbers in because I, I probably will number these pages date, uh, date wise, and um, that's it. So I hope you've liked, you've enjoyed that. Um, I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it a little bit useful. And um, so for those who um, are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Um, it's so nice to get the, the good feedback for uh, the other things that we've we've done the beginning of this um, And for those who met me the first time you've watched one of my um, Crazy videos and stumbled along with me. Thank you for your company And if you like what you see and it's been a bit useful um, Just like and subscribe. It'll be great. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye